What's going on guys? Welcome to another full day of eating. I am really excited to bring you all of my food that I'm eating today while I'm bulking, trying to gain some muscle. First things first, you already saw that smoothie. I'm changing up a little bit. I'm doing blueberry smoothies now with blueberry protein, which is something I've never done before. I'm a creature habit. I've always done the same exact smoothie. I'm trying different smoothies now, and I'm happy that I'm trying different things because it's really good. I'm also increasing the amount of smoothie that I use. You saw I was at 34 ounces or something like that. I've been making 24 ounce smoothies, so I'm moving up. I'm trying to get to 40 ounce smoothies every morning just to increase the amount of calories I get for my workouts. So I'm back from the gym and I've made myself a little bit of some toast. So this is a, a recipe that I've just kind of made out of my head. I was inspired by, a, I did a Greek full day eating a long time ago. And in that video, uh, I made a like a chickpea fava bean spread toast thing. And I've been trying to like be fancy and make my own recipes lately, but just because I've honestly, I'm just like getting older and I bought some cilantro the other day. I made something with it and I was like, Oh, this has triggered so many ideas for me. So in this little recipe, it has a really good uh, payoff. 550 calories for all six pieces of these toast, 33 grams of protein, yep, 33 grams of protein, and 750 milligrams of sodium, which is something that I'm actually like tracking and kind of keeping lower now uh, because I used to be a sodium fiend. So to make this, you're just gonna take about three quarter cup of garbanzo beans, smash it down with a fork. You could also do this in a food processor. Uh, I took about a half cup of black beans, also mashed those down. I cut up a couple sprigs of cilantro and that's completely up to you how much you want to use because that is hefty. Uh, and then from there you can choose whether or not you want to put a fat in it. You can use oil, you can use a little bit of avocado, use like half of a half avocado, or you can not use it at all if you don't want to uh, put any fats in or if you're watching your fats, something like that. I took about uh, a little bit less than half of a lemon and squeezed that in there. Finally, I put some toasted minced garlic uh, in there as well. Mix it all up, it takes a little bit of time to mix it all up, but then that's it. You have your toast and you put it on top of that. Also, the, the bread that I'm using is called Dave's Bread, so if you ever find this at your store, definitely try it out. It has three grams of protein per toast or per slice, and it's 60 calories per slice. So for six pieces of toast, we're adding six, 12, 18 grams of protein, plus all the beans and stuff that you're putting on top of it. It is a super, super solid uh, high macro nutrient high high protein uh, meal that you can get really really fast I'm still jittering out from my workout I was really really pumping hard and I'm hot right now <laughs> but yeah I have like a hundred different recipes I want to show you guys I'm not sure what we're gonna get into today um, but I'm gonna show you a couple of those things that I've been trying this week that I really really enjoy this I have to eat really quick because I'm off to PT I have to go to my physical therapist working on my shoulders and my posture and everything like that still and we're gonna go to our PT right now ah physical therapy time to do a lot of glute activation and a lot of ab work <laughs> and also get pressed on and stretch out. So this week's assignment is that I'm going to keep a daily log of basically like what I'm doing when I'm working, or actually just what I'm doing every single day, just because a lot of the stuff that I do causes me to be in this really funky position, whether it's sleeping on my side or working on a computer. It has my lats really short, it has my quads really short. So this way we can see kind of what we can create in terms of like a right when I wake up program for me to do, as well as a pre-workout program, as well as a right before bed program, just so that I can start to really like get more deep with the stuff that I'm doing, start externally rotating, start like finally doing the stuff that will have it so that I'm not closing my body off throughout each day. So it's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm willing to do it. You gotta do what you gotta do, baby. All right, we're back at the house, and I wanna show you guys a revolutionary recipe. This is awesome, because it is my grandma's recipe, and there's just one small modification, which is replacing ground beef. Instead, we're gonna use textured vegetable, <laughs> no, I can't speak right now, 
textured vegetable protein. So let me dive into this. So what you're gonna need is textured vegetable protein. A lot of people have never heard of this. This is just defatted soy flour is what the actual ingredient is. But really, it's just like an awesome uh, replacement for ground beef, ground turkey, whatever kind of recipe you're used to putting those in, this is the replacement. All you have to do is just take one part of this for one part water, let it hydrate in here for like five, 10 minutes, literally soak, and then that's it. It's done, it's ready. It just needs to be seasoned. Also, the macros are insane. So a quarter cup dry is 80 calories with seven grams of carbs 12 grams of protein and we're using in this this is kind of a meal prep this is gonna be way more than just one meal this is a cup and a half that's rehydrated right here so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mix one cup of salsa in here your whatever salsa you like I'm using this stuff I don't know if this is anywhere else in the country but I found this freaking salsa that tastes like my uncle's which I don't actually have to make which is dope and it has no sodium in this this has five milligrams of sodium per serving and so I'm using a cup which is like six servings and so I'm gonna get like 30 milligrams of sodium yes I'm being a sodium freak lately because I've definitely been overdoing sodium in my past so we're gonna add this in here boom chunky salsa baby on the recipe I it says one tea of chili powder so I'm not sure if that's a tablespoon or teaspoon uh, so I'm gonna go with half a tablespoon and honestly I don't really care because chili powder is amazing I can never really overdo it but you might want to go a little light if I don't know if you don't like chili powder or if maybe it's gonna to be too spicy for ya. Yeah. And then the last part is just adding about two cups of cooked baked beans and friggin' literally that's it. That's the whole recipe. That's why this is awesome and that's why it's a really good meal prep is because all you have to do now is just mix this up and because uh, this is vegan, you don't have to really worry about cooking or anything like that. You could eat this just cold. Obviously though, if you wanna make like burritos or tacos, you just throw this in a frying pan real quick and it's done. You just wrap it up in a tortilla. And because of the way we made it, this has pretty much no sodium. So you're only gonna get sodium in from the tortillas. This is a freaking dope meal prep. You should try it out. I guarantee you're gonna love it. Oh man, it is so freaking good. Also, I'm way too energetic right now. I cut my finger because I was dancing while I was cutting. Whatever, it's no big deal. Uh, so I've got in the frying pan here, I've got a half onion cut up into little slices and then I have a couple cloves of garlic cut up a little bit. Just to add to this burrito that I'm gonna make, I have three tortillas that I've baked in this pan here. These are cabo chips, partially cooked tortillas. You can probably find uh, either raw or partially cooked tortillas at your place. They're so much tastier than the pre-made ones. This just has wheat flour, whoop, can you see it? Wheat flour water, coconut oil, and sea salt. 150 calories per, 230 milligrams of sodium each. So this is something like 700, some ish, 700 milligrams of sodium here. And then just mix it up. Very good, very good. All right, so I got the mixture in the tortillas. Then I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast because I like to add nutritional yeast to anything that I can add it to because it's freaking delicious. Also, it has a lot of good nutrients. Google it, Google it, my friends. And then I'm gonna top this with some lettuce and we're gonna roll it. There's the final product, my friends. It looks amazing, I'm starving. Whenever you're doing full day eating, it always takes twice as long to actually get to the food, so I'm just literally dying to eat this. It's gonna be so freaking good. Sam's coming home and Kurt is gonna come over here pretty soon to record a podcast. I'm really excited, we got more awesome food coming your way. Look what just came at the door. Kobe freaked out and almost ate this lady and scared her to death. <laughs> it's always a good day when you get a new package from Vivo though. Got this, uh, this is, uh, I believe all this stuff is the reformulated, they added cordyceps mushrooms to a bunch of their stuff and cordyceps help improve your like focus. I've actually used them a lot in the past. Oh, nifty. Ooh, they gave me a vortex shaker. That's pretty cool. Hey now. Got the reformulated raw cacao. I told them that that's one of my favorite flavors and the reformulated Madagascan vanilla. I also appreciate all you guys for buying this stuff because I know uh, when someone like jumps to a new company, it's kind of like a leap of faith whether or not you know if the product's gonna be good. I'm telling you, they are so good. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about them so much. Every time someone tries them, they snatch at me and they're like, this is delicious. So try it out if you want to. Link and code always below my videos. Uh, but yeah, Kurt's here. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey! Hi! Hey! Hey! Oh! 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 Oh!
about to eat this. I would have brought you something, except I remember that you were cooking food. That's right, man. They just saw it. Uh. Welcome to Beyond the Podcast, where we go to the foot doctor and laugh at you while you're in the chair because your fingernails are really long. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond the Podcast, the podcast where we extend your nipples by one inch. <laughs> What's up? How was work? Fine. Let the people know what's going on. Why, what are we talking about even? Um, I am working at, it's called European Wax Center. I, it's okay because there's like a thousand million of them. It's like a big corporate thing. Um, so yeah, I just started that and it was my third day today. So, so far so good. Had a good day. Good. Um, the only thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was bothering me. The only thing is I don't like upselling and like selling stuff to people so i have to like get in that mindset to like be more i don't know like forward and talkative you know and yeah i don't know so i'm like working on that that's like my only all right so we tried to make balsamic vinaigrette and it's terrible i don't know what's going on it's just not very good it's just like i don't know i just feel like it's pure oil uh it was supposed to be like a basil-y vinaigrette type thing the place we go to that i got inspired from this has the best freaking vinaigrette i've ever had in my life and this just sucks so I'm, i can't i can't justify it man it's not good enough to eat uh, i'm gonna use that for cooking uh, tomorrow because it's olive oil with a bunch of good stuff in it i bet it's because they probably blend it and our blender that's true can't blend it like that yeah you know our blender I mean? needs like too much quantity to actually blend it correctly yeah anyway so um we're gonna brainstorm real quick and we'll get back to you on what's for dinner <laughs> <laughs> We have no other plan. This was the big plan, man. It was this big salad, this power salad. It was going to be amazing. But uh, not only is the vinaigrette not very good that we made, but also we bought the wrong kind of greens. They're actually baking greens. So they're like mustard greens and like chard and all this like super bitter stuff. I messed up, okay? I don't always nail it, okay? Right now, I am going to run to Sprouts while you make spaghetti squash pasta. And uh, noodles. And noodles. And then I'm gonna pick up some protein pasta because I wanna show you guys black bean pasta, how awesome it is. And I'm gonna get some no sodium or low sodium uh, pasta sauce. And that's all gonna happen right now. This stuff. I'm sure you guys have this at your grocery stores. It's freaking awesome. You get black bean, edamame, any of them honestly are gonna have tons and tons of protein. Um, but yeah, it's like 25 grams per serving and there's four servings back here. It's pretty insane. Tons of potassium as well. And this is a little gem that we found. Uh, no salt added marinara pasta sauce. So you can just add how much pasta or how much sodium you wanna add into this and you get to kind of control it instead of having like this. I looked at Prego and it was two and a half grams of sodium for the entire thing, which is pretty freaking insane. We get four of these. We like our pasta a lot. And away we go. I always get five times more stuff than I originally came for. All right, so here is the deal with the spaghetti tonight. This is a spaghetti squash, and if you're like me when I was like, uh, I don't know, 20, you've never even thought about using one of these, but if you're dieting, this is such a huge tool. So spaghetti squash, you can cook in the oven, which is a really G way to do it, but we're running out of time, so we microwaved it. You just cut it in half and face the half downwards, and then you can scrape it with a fork and get all of this delicious uh, spaghetti noodle style shreds out of it. You can add that to normal noodles and it just increases the volume a lot without adding very many calories at all. Uh, what we've been doing is a mixture of uh, regular noodles, some spaghetti squash, and then the black bean pasta is in here, the black bean pasta I showed you at the grocery store, which adds another, probably put about 35 grams worth of the protein in there. Uh, we got broccoli steaming right here. You're killing it, girl. You're killing Thank it. Thank you. And then these I wanted to make because I wanted to show you guys this. this. is Also, I need to take pictures of this for my recipe book. But we just have flat portobello mushrooms. Uh, you pull off the stem so that they can actually hit up in the frying pan. Or you're just going to add a very tiny amount. Did you add anything in? Mm -mm. Either. You can actually do no fat if you want to. You don't even need to do this. But if you want to do it the proper way, you can do a little vegan butter. And the more you use, the more the merrier. But we're just using a tiny little bit. And then this is just gonna make it kind of savory and a little bit more like steaky. And then you just add a little soy sauce on each one. And then you let it cook in the butter and the soy sauce. 
and it is so good. Not really a ton of nutritional value in that, but more so it's just to like fill a craving. A lot of people uh, will compare this to like a steak or some sort of meat. I definitely think it's very juicy like meat. I've always thought mushrooms are very meaty. And then we're using a whole jar because there is no sodium, so it's just a ton of veggies, which is pretty freaking sweet, man. And then, like I was saying, we just add as much salt as we want. This is a big smorgasbord of all this delicious pasta. It's gonna be really tasty. <laughs> She's so camera shy. I love it. No, it's because she's sassy, I think. You sassy? She only comes around once the food is actually done. Otherwise, she's away. Yeah. She was out back just now, and then she's like, food's almost plated. Yep. I'm here. Huh. I'm waiting. Hi, you little baby. So, I wanted to show you guys one last thing, and this is a huge tip. This is... This is OG, this is my channel from way back in the day. This is called Humorous Potatoes. So basically what you do is you cut a slice down a potato vertically and then you throw it into the microwave. This is for people who don't have a lot of time. And then you can, you can just like punch it open because you cut it vertically. And then you just open up that microwave potato, flip it down this way, and then cook it on a frying pan. You can use a little olive oil if you want or you can just cook it straight on a nonstick pan. And then what's gonna happen is after a while, you're gonna get a little bit of some crispies on there. And then whoever you serve this to is gonna have no idea that these were microwave potatoes. They taste so freaking good. Mm -hmm. It's just like cooking a real potato like in a real frying pan for like three freaking hours, but it takes like four or five minutes, seriously. And then our pasta is done over here, fully sauced. We added just a little bit of salt. We also used one serving of regular marinara that actually does have salt. Here's what those potatoes are looking like once they come off the frying pan. Woo! Um. So this is our whole meal is we got the broccoli, we got the potatoes. We just put nutritional yeast on our pasta. We got the mushrooms over here we've been snacking on. Snacks! Snacks! Going to bed. That was intense. I'm sorry if the polish of this episode started going downhill towards the end of it, <laughs> but I feel like all the S hit the fan at once. I had to run to the store and get all this done, but we got it done. Today, I really wanted to show you guys some kind of like secret meals that have high protein in them that a lot of people don't know about, and I wanted to expose you guys to them, and they're, they're relatively easy to make once you kind of get over the idea of having multiple ingredients in a recipe. <laughs> Hiccup. Burp. That was weird. I don't know why, but I've had this like kick of inspiration for cooking. I've been really enjoying it. I've been getting passionate about it. I even have some stuff that I wanted to shove into this day of eating, but I didn't have time for it. So uh, next week, there's some really awesome stuff. I have this thing I'm going to coat potatoes. It's Don't worry. You'll see it very soon. It's really, really good. I've been working on it this week, and I'm perfecting the recipe. So you guys will see that next week. But that is it. We're going to eat. we got to get to bed early because Sam has to wake up for uh, her job at like 5, 5.30, something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week. <laughs>